Warning, do not try this at home. Quadcopters are unmanned helicopters with four motors. They are formerly known as quad rotor helicopters, but for short we'll call them quadcopters or copters. They first took flight in 1907 by the design of Louis Breguet. Today they are used all over and for numerous different purposes. For example, drone photography, research, law enforcement delivery, and recently sports. To understand how a quadcopter works, you need to examine its motor. The motor of a quadcopter is electromagnetic, which means it uses electricity and magnets. It converts electrical energy to mechanical energy through electromagnetic means. The electromagnet, the object receiving the electrical energy, creates a magnetic field that is constantly flipping due to electricity. If a magnet is placed near, it will attract or repel the oppositely charged side of the magnetic field. To demonstrate this, we're going to go and build an electromagnetic motor. Let's go. Let me just show you what this thing is made of a little bit. We have a coil that is right above this magnet right here. And we have roughly about five volts from 3D batteries feeding into these two leads. This being the negative, this being the positive. And when they short out with this coil and this magnet, they create what is an electromagnet. There we go. As you see here, the electromagnet is spinning. This battery right here supplies electricity through the electromagnet, which creates a magnetic field that is constantly flipping around by this here magnet. For the next part, let's see how the drone receives inputs. This radio controller, otherwise known as a transmitter, sends radio waves through this antenna to these antennas right here on the drone. These radio waves are called carrier waves and they are sent through modulation. Modulation is the process of establishing different carrier signals through changing the amplitude to differentiate different signal inputs. For example, the drone has to know the difference between pushing this stick up and pushing this stick to the left. And in order to do that, it uses modulation. Next up, we will take a look at frequencies. These waves have a frequency of 2.4 gigahertz, just about. Normal FM waves and AM waves both have a lot less of a frequency. To demonstrate this, we shall draw an FM wave in comparison. As we can see here, the wave coming from the transmitter on the quadcopter has a lot higher frequency than any FM wave. It can be up to 24 times more frequent than the standard FM wave. The quadcopter utilizes these high frequencies to send and receive information more quickly in a short amount of time. The information is sent from the transmitter to the receiver and then decoded by the receiver. The receiver then sends the inputs to the flight controller, which then sends the inputs to the motors. These motors then act upon it, creating whatever maneuver was inputted into the transmitter. This can all happen in a very short amount of time, usually up to the maximum of about 3 milliseconds. This creates no visible latency and a very fast and reliable system. Thrust is a force that when greater than the force of gravity will propel you in that direction. With the help of electronic slash computer based processing, quadcopters can change the speed of their individual motors which allows their flight to be directional as opposed to linear. For example, if the back two motors speed up, the quadcopter will tilt forward. This is a result of the thrust of the back lifting the quadcopter to a slight angle. Some of the lift force will move the quadcopter forward. To rotate the quadcopter, 
the motors diagonal from each other must speed up and the other pair slows down. This is to maintain a net thrust. The diagonal motors rotate in the same direction, creating a torque that twists the quadcopter in a certain direction. The four motors create upward thrust that is determined by the diameter of the propeller, velocity of the propeller, the delta velocity of air accelerated by the propeller, and the air density. That's all for this time. Join us next time for another. That's all for this time. Join us next time for a dose of physics, physics power. power. Ready?